going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on this topic and this video won't be that long by any stretch of the imagination i just wanted to come on here and talk about the situation that's going down between kiki palmer and her boyfriend right her baby daddy as they're calling him on twitter just her baby daddy so Kiki Palmer took to Instagram a day or so ago and posted a series of clips of her attending a Usher concert. Now, Usher has a residency in Vegas and things of that nature. So I guess she finally made it to attend one of his concerts there. So Kiki seemed to be overjoyed and astounded to be in the presence of Usher. You could tell that Usher has made somewhat of an impact on her life, at least musically, right? And so it seems as though the way Kiki was acting when Usher came up to her to basically sing to her that she wanted Usher to I want you to park that big Mac truck right in this little garage. Now on top of that, Kiki had on a very revealing dress and it was see-through and her cheeks were hanging out to say the least, right? So her boyfriend Darius did not like that. He said that he had morals and standards and things of that nature, and so he decided to go on Twitter and call her out. So when he called her out for what she was wearing, here come all the melanated women running to Kiki's defense. Open the f up. And ladies and gentlemen, they went in on this dude. They practically dragged him by his nostrils for publicly saying anything about what Kiki was wearing. They felt that he was coming from a place of, you know, just hating on Kiki and also trying to shame her for what she had on. So let me read to you all what he had to say about what Kiki had on and you know during her whole interaction with Usher. So this is what Darius said. So Darius responds to the video of Kiki and Usher's interaction and basically he said it's the outfit though you a mom. Alright so after he said that like I said previously there were so many melanated women that took him to task because he came out and publicly they felt in their eyes that he publicly shamed Kiki for what she was wearing and that he should have kept it off the internet right. So what I want to do is just read you about three or four tweets of the position that a lot of women were taking and defending Kiki and her BS. So this person says, useless man tweeting and all the nonsense on a phone Kiki bought and the data plan she pays for every month. A kept blank should keep quiet. Then another person says, Kiki baby daddy wants to champion traditional standards and morals without being traditional and moral. You had a baby outside of a marriage and your girl is the breadwinner. Please be quiet. Then this guy says, as a man never date a woman that's more successful than you, the way everyone is broke shaming Kiki baby daddy says it all. Then another individual says, like I know you ain't on Kiki Palmer's phone plan, on Kiki Palmer's Wi-Fi, in Kiki Palmer's home, watching Kiki Palmer's son, telling Kiki Palmer what Kiki Palmer should be wearing as a mother baby this is kiki palmer okay then this person says apart from women who fancy having money for genuine reasons some of you only need money to go haywire kiki is a powerful lady that has her money and fame so she can flash her blank with reckless abandon any kk palm whatever that is she has her money so who is her baby daddy to stop her clown now i really like what this brother had to say and he said two things i picked from this kiki's issue from twitter women one a woman shouldn't listen to you while y'all dating as long as you've not married her you can't tell her how to act two whoever is richer in the relationship should treat the other person like blank now darius did respond to all the criticism and backlash that he's been receiving and he said we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and he gets told how much of a hater he is this is my family and my representation i have standards and morals to what i believe i rest my case all right, so you guys heard all of that. Now, here's my opinion on the matter. I think that Kiki was way out of line, y'all. As a matter of fact, if you go to her Instagram story and analyze how often she was posting herself at Usher's concert and the facial expressions coupled with the over-the-top mannerism she was making, it comes across as some high school shit. And I ultimately feel that she was trying to make her baby daddy jealous because she was definitely rubbing her excitement to be in the same space as Usher in Darius's face. Now, even though Darius didn't mention Usher, a lot of people feel that Darius was upset mainly because Kiki was being entertained personally by 
not Usher, and I feel that two things can be true at the same time. He probably didn't want his woman to be getting too close to those bumps and rashes, and he didn't like that his woman put on a dress that exuded easy access to her goods. And y'all, in my opinion, it doesn't matter who is the breadwinner within the relationship. Now, as a man, you want to be able to be the sole provider for your family, but sometimes it doesn't work out that way because we know melanated women are some of the most educated women out here in these streets. But obviously, in this situation, it didn't matter to Kiki because why did she choose him? Maybe she wanted to be with someone that is not on her level financially, which ultimately gives her more power and control within the relationship because she has access to a lot of men that are on her level of celebrity and financially. And so when I look at this situation in this totality, right, and I see a lot of people on Twitter calling this dude insecure because he called out Kiki for having her cheeks out, basically, you know, my question to y'all, is Kiki the one that's insecure? Because to some of the standards that women have set for men, Kiki is the one that actually dated down. So what is it? She can't handle a man that's on her same level of celebrity? I want to know. Inquiring minds would like to know. Drop down in the comments and let me know. But ultimately, I feel that even when you're in a relationship, right? Because a relationship is just a probationary period, you know, leading up to marriage if both parties want that, right? So you're proving yourself to this particular individual that you want to be with them, that you're faithful, that you're not going to go out there and embarrass them. And this is what Kiki did. No matter what his level of celebrity is, no matter what his financial status is, she went out and embarrassed this man. And yet this man is getting attacked because he stood up and said, no, you're going to respect me. I don't care who you are. And if I'm going to keep it all the way a buck here, it doesn't matter who Kiki is. Doesn't matter how many mansions she has, how much jewelry she has how many cars she has and it doesn't matter what her financial status may be it does not give her the right to treat this man like that to disrespect him like that publicly and a lot of people are saying why did he bring it to the internet why did he try to publicly shame her this girl was out in public publicly shaming him and making him look bad wearing this see-through dress like my mom used to tell me back in the day if you act up in church you're going to get chastised in church so basically kiki is acting out online publicly posting all of these pictures of herself and posting these videos and so what's wrong with him publicly checking her you know honestly right I don't care who Kiki is, it's not above the realm of possibility that this guy may have actually dated down. Even though she's a celebrity, even though she's rich, it's not above the realm because he said that he has standards and morals and values and things like that. So it's not above, it does not matter how much money you have, it's about your principles and things of that nature. So some women say that Kiki may have dated down financially, well maybe he dated down morally. But anyway, I'm going to let this slide right here. I want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this whole entire situation. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.